Hello friends and welcome to my Caribbean kitchen. My name is Ria. Today, after a hearty breakfast, so we are preparing a late lunch and meal prep for a couple of days. A meal inspired by the halal food trucks in New York City. On the menu are yellow turmeric rice, colorful and delicious. We're also making a juicy and buttery grilled beef kebabs served with cilantro chutney and a white sauce. The kids are also in the kitchen making the lasagna and cheesy garlic bread. Watch till the end if you don't want to miss any of this delicious food. Let's start cooking! We have one green pepper, one carrot, one whole onion, one red pepper, a little bit of celery, three tablespoons of garlic, I also have three cups of basmati rice, which I've washed uh, very clean until the water was no longer cloudy. And I soaked it for 20 minutes with one tablespoon of salt. I'm going to drain this now and get ready to cook. Medium high heat. Add six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then I'll add the spices to toast. Just about two minutes. Until it becomes fragrant. And then I'll add the onion. and the garlic We'll cook this for two minutes and then I'll add the turmeric and the saffron. And for my Trini people, that's two separate ingredients. Just 30 seconds. Now we'll add the rest of the veggies. Cook that for three minutes. Now I'll add two teaspoons of salt. Now I'll add the rice. Three cups of basmati rice, which has been soaking for 30 minutes. It's a good point to taste for salt. 
tends to be a little salty at this point. I'll cook it for about two more minutes and then I'll add the hot water. One teaspoon of roasted ground cumin, also known as jeera in Trinidad. You can also add whole grain jeera. Could have toasted that at the beginning, but I totally forgot. This is fine as well. And it's beginning to stick. So now we'll add the water. Now we'll add four and a half cups of hot water. Did the kettle have any water in it? Okay, scrape up the bits at the bottom. You don't want anything to stick on the bottom there. Looks pretty amazing. Beautiful colors. Wonderful flavors. Give it a good stir. No taste for salt again. I'm going to add one more teaspoon of salt. Give it a stir. Yum. Now that we're starting to see most of the grains on the top, uh, we'll cover it. I'm going to cover it with a cloth and then I'll put the cover on top of the cloth. And reduce the heat to the lowest and we let it cook there for 15 to 20 minutes. It's 12 or 5 p.m. now. I'll let you know what time we take it out. Shrimp has been marinating for a day. Cooked it for 20 and we let it sit for about 15 20 minutes like, as well. The taste. Mm. Mm, yum. Keep it covered until we're ready to eat. The link to all these delicious recipes will be added in the description box down below once they're ready.
about three quarter teaspoon salt total. Not all of that. That's it. Today, my lovely friends thank you so much for watching till the end give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed being in the kitchen with me today or if you've learned something new share this video with your social media community and subscribe if you wish to be part of the cooking with Ria family as always I look forward to hearing from you below stay safe be well cook share and love until next time, bye-bye.